With 125 years of history, the largest port complex in Latin America, the Port of Santos, besides boosting the country's economy and moving millions of tons of cargo, is also a part of the daily life of all Brazilians. The Port of Santos began its activities on February 2, 1892, when Compania Docas de Santos inaugurated its first 260 meters of docks. In 1980, with the end of the port concession, the federal government created the Compania Docas do Estado de São Paulo, CODESP, a mixed economy company with most capital being from the union. The Port Authority manages supervises and guarantees port infrastructure. With a privileged location, the Port of Santos is located only 70 kilometers from Sao Paulo capital, region of the largest consumer and producer markets in Latin America. The port complex has 16 kilometers of docks, 25 kilometers of navigation channels, 55 terminals, 66 mooring berths, 100 kilometers of railway lines and 55 kilometers of pipelines. Constant investments in technology allow productivity indexes to be similar to those of the largest ports in the world, which coupled with the actions of CODESP and the federal government guarantee the quality of port infrastructure, especially the deepening of the navigation channel. The Port of Santos has its own hydroelectric plant, Itachinga, which was inaugurated in 1910 and supplies a large part of the energy consumed by port facilities. The port complex operates 24 hours a day for 365 days a year, offering agility and efficiency to cargo movement. The Port of Santos moves all types of cargo, standing out as the world leader in shipments of coffee, sugar and orange juice but also with great movements of soybeans, corn, bran, bulk liquids, fuels, automobiles, and project loads, in addition to containerized cargo that is responsible for the handling of approximately 35% of the total move. The port accounts historically for the movement of more than one-fourth of the Brazilian trade balance, being the great drain of the agri-industry production from the states of São Paulo, Minas Gerais, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso do Sul and Goiás, its primary area of influence. Regular navigation routes connect Santos to the main international markets through long-haul navigation and to all the Brazilian ports by coastal navigation. Access to the Port of Santos also occurs through an extensive road rail network which interconnects the Tietê Paraná waterway system. CODESP invests in new technologies that provide greater efficiency to port operations. Portolog is the system that organizes the arrival of trucks and cargoes to the terminal. The paperless port facilitates import and export processing. The Port Public Authority in the Port of Santos is certified by the Brazilian government upon the International Maritime Organization, in line with the requirements of the ISPS code, the safety code in force in the main ports of the world. Surveillance, monitoring, access control and training of dogs are part of the work carried out by the Port Guard. CODESP reconciles the development of the Port of Santos with socio-environmental sustainability. In addition to its own water and sewage treatment station, it maintains specialized teams in response to emergencies on land and at sea, which are prepared to avoid or minimize damages to the environment. The Port Authority acts along with the terminals and with the community in the implementation of environmental programs. And through social responsibility actions, it helps to improve the life quality of the cities of Santos, Cubatão and Guarujá. Among the actions performed, it should be highlighted the planting of 2,000 trees at the Santos Roads, as well as sponsorship of cultural, environmental, sports and social initiatives. 
the port plays a fundamental role in the growth of the Baixada Santista region as an agent of development and an important source of resources for the region. The port complex generates 160,000 direct and indirect jobs, fomenting tourism and local commerce. In order to meet the increasing demand for cargo handling, the port encourages new projects with the integration of the terminals to the neighboring cities and foments the channel dredging that will allow the reception of larger ships, allowing the transportation of greater volume of cargoes and cost reduction. Thus, Brazilians are proud to have the largest port in the Southern Hemisphere a complex that moves the country, making it the great gateway to and from Brazil. Port of Santos, present in your life.